very quick walkthrough, creating a very simple scene inside TerraGem. OK, so we have an absolutely flat landscape at the moment with no surface detail. Let's get started by generating some terrain. We have a number of options here. I'm looking for a sort of snowy scene, so I'm going to pump up the glaciation effect and maybe a little more of the realism. Size of feature, uh, let's make those bigger mountains, shall we? And then generate the terrain. That's looking all right, close that. At the moment there is no surface detail, so we're going to open one of the standard surface maps. Grass and snow will suit my purpose very well. OK, let's just move that over to one side here and have a look at what we've got here. OK, one thing which we ought to put in is some water, I think. So over on the water palette here, currently the water level is set as minus 300 metres. I'm going to change that to minus 50 metres. Update the map. A little bit of water going in. Let's put the water at sea level. See whether that makes any difference. Update the map. That's looking more like the sort of thing I'm looking for. Lakes and mountains. Um, whilst we're here, let's just have a look at what we can do here. Subsurface. At the moment, we've got these settings. If you want to go for a sort of frozen water effect, then we can click on frozen, and that will give us, when we look in closer detail at the water, that will look a bit better. Uh, waves and reflections I'm going to leave for the time being. Although you're more than welcome to play with this yourselves, of course. Um, we have here a camera position and then where the camera is facing. So let's just have a look at that. Render preview. That's looking brilliant, actually, as it is at the moment. Uh, we can play around with that camera position. Left click for where you're standing. Right click for where you're facing. Render preview. Mm, not sure if that's actually an improvement. Looking down the valley. That's looking rather fun, isn't it? It's about here. Sorry, click, right click. It's looking quite interesting. You have the option to explore this world in 3D from this position. So there we get sort of second life like landscape from where the camera is positioned. I never find this particularly convincing. Some I'm sure would. We can reposition the camera and try that again. Just try up here and looking down. The one thing which you do want to make sure you avoid is sort of seeing the edge of the world. Who knows, that's an improvement. Or oh, indeed that. Let's try where, roughly where we were again. That I think will do for our purpose. Right, um, notice also you have this fixed height above the surface, or uh, sorry, the target position and the camera position here, fixed height above the surface. 30 meters is actually quite a long way up, but it does fine for what we're doing. There are a number of other camera settings here, so you have a zoom setting, wider or narrower angle lenses. I actually quite like that. Let's go with that sort of zoom lens effect, and then there are exposure controls, and yet more camera controls if that's what you want to do. What else? Uh, so we've looked at the landscape, we've looked at the water. Let's quickly have a look at the cloudscape, shall we? Generate some more clouds, larger clouds, high degree of persistence, generate clouds, increase that persistence, generate some more. That's fine for our purpose. Exit that, preview again. Cloudier sky. You have some control over the atmosphere here. This is very useful in terms of sunlight effects. So if you increase, big pardon, let's try decreasing. Increase the amount of decay of light through the sunset, through the atmosphere, then that will produce more of a sort of sunset effect here and you have the options to change the colour of what happens as light passes through the atmosphere. Um, talking of sunlight, we can position the sun where we want to. So currently we have the sun coming from the north 
west that would be and so we can move that round you don't want it shining, shining straight into the camera doesn't sun ever come from the north yes of course it does if you're in the southern hemisphere but if we have it from let's try it there lower down in the sky and then that effect of the sun passing through the atmosphere should be more pronounced. How's that? Sort of late afternoon sunlight. Exit here. Showing you the 3D effect already. Um, we can increase the amount of detail to another render preview. That's looking rather lovely. Let's put the amount of detail up to absolute maximum. Um, image size here, I'm just leaving as good old fashioned VGA resolution. Once you've registered your copy of TerraGen, you can increase that to pretty much arbitrary limits. But for the sake of efficiency here, I don't need that open anymore. Let's just go ahead and render that image at VGA resolution. This takes a little while to work out exactly what each element of the picture is going to look like. You can already see the scene emerging. What a great opportunity for some creative writing this would be. Or indeed, to sort of go and play with Photoshop or Photoshop-like programs and put yourself into this entirely imagined computer-generated scene. Okay. So there we have it.